bookmarks are for quitters. Yeah. Hello everybody, my name is Ivy and welcome to Plan with Ivy and welcome to the start of NaNoWriMo vlogs. Hopefully this vlog is actually posted because I just did vlog last year during NaNoWriMo. I just never posted them. So this year I'm determined to post them. Yes, that is a nutcracker wreath on my door. No, it's not Christmas yet, I know, but still, it's there because it's pink. I love it. So I'm starting off NaNoWriMo vlogs on Monday. The 29th of October because I had some writing stuff that I'm doing pre NaNoWriMo that I wanted to document. I was going to go to the Baltimore Museum of Industry today to do some more research on industry because if you watch my NaNoWriMo video which went up on this Monday, which went up today, this Monday, I talk a lot about how I am prepping for NaNoWriMo and not super prepped but I'm just finishing up prepping right now and for this book it is taking place in a steampunk world which is basically like industrial revolution all of those sort of things so I wanted to go to the Baltimore Museum of Industry because my hometown is like an industrial center and so I want to learn more about how it was an industrial center and all that kind of stuff but they're closed on Mondays so I couldn't go but I did a whole bunch of other stuff for my mom I picked up some crafting stuff in Michaels which probably was a bad idea because I don't need any more crafting stuff but I still got it and I have been working on this we had like a phone crisis earlier today which was just like really annoying to deal with like phone companies and automatic services but that's mostly been dealt with so now I'm just focusing on prepping for the rest of the day I'm going to be planning the rest of my NaNoWriMo outline in my NaNoWriMo book for this year so okay currently almost midnight and my video is still uploading because my internet sucks so that video will go up on Tuesday and not Monday sadly I wanted it to be like Monday Wednesday Friday so it would be like evenly spaced but that's not happening apparently so it's going up on Tuesday and I'm also pre-planning for this week because I do do planner content on this channel if you didn't know and so film me that plan for me tomorrow that's why you see my character binder right there and some of my other plan flies is on the bed. I'm also putting stuff out because I'm doing the NaNoWriMo write challenge. Wait, what is it called? It's called the NaNoWriMo photo challenge, which is basically Nano Nano That Rimo. Basically, that's the hashtag on Instagram. So Nano That Rimo. It's a photo challenge you're dealing with like what you're doing this NaNoWriMo, what's your piece about, how are you writing, what you use to get you through writing, all that kind of stuff. So I decided to take a photo challenge. One, because I need help figuring out what to do for Instagram too because I've always wanted to do a photo challenge and I thought NaNoWriMo was a good time to do it so this is like one of the first posts I'm going to be doing announcing that I'm doing it on Instagram so if you're not following me on Instagram why not if you don't have an Instagram it's fine if you do have an Instagram you should follow me there just saying so outlining have done much I'll probably do some more after I like hang up this part of the vlog and then just yeah that's pretty much all I've done for this Monday I'll check back in with you guys on Tuesday to see if I've done anything else dealing with writing so it's currently the night before NaNoWriMo is exactly 9.52. I still not finished my outline. Yesterday, I was going to try. I did a lot of other stuff yesterday. I was just like preparing for life, basically. Meal prepping, filming, doing all this kind of stuff that I need to do. And I had to get up at like 6 o'clock this morning. So I had to make sure I had all this stuff done. And I couldn't like stay up late doing outlining. And so I didn't outline yesterday. I went to work today. And I dressed up as Shuri from Black Panther. Nobody got the reference. It's fine. And then I came back. I finished up a Halloween. Instagram post and now I'm gonna work on this outline until midnight wish me luck why is writing a mystery outline so hard I know exactly how it ends I know exactly how it's supposed to happen I just don't know how to drop the breadcrumbs to make it seem like it's going to happen T minus one hour and 18 minutes to midnight. Can I do this? We'll see. Okay, so I think I had an aha moment with my plotting, but I don't really know if it was an aha moment. So right now I'm just having a huh moment. I don't know anymore. Now I'm gonna have to get started. I'm already freaking out. Mm -hmm. Why can't I figure this out? I've had a breakthrough. No idea. Okay, so NaNoWriMo starts in one minute. The outline is not done. But you know what? We're gonna roll with this anyway. We're just gonna start writing at the beginning and then hopefully over time, the novel will tell me when it wants to be. And then I'll just finish the rest of the outline then. So I have like up to chapter 15 outlined. I don't know how long the story is going to be. I really hope it's not gonna be as long as my novel last year. My novel last year was like outlined to be like 50 chapters. I don't know why I did that to myself. But this year, it's going to be shorter. I assure you, it's going to be shorter. It has to be. Okay, so NaNoWriMo is about to start. I'm going to set up my Scrivener project and we shall begin. But seriously though, does anybody else like when numbers just like naturally happen like that where it's like in a pattern? I don't know if that's just me, but I just like when numbers are naturally in a pattern without you influencing it. It feels pretty nice. Woo! 
soon. Okay, back to work. I don't know if I like this chapter scene format. We're just going to going to change this a little bit. Okay, time for the first word. Carl. That's the first word of this novel. We're off to a great start, ladies and gentlemen. Time for a time lapse. Okay, so I don't feel like sitting at my desk, so I'm just going to be editing at the foot of my bed because I feel comfortable this way. Time lapse. <laughs> So it is later in the day. It's like 4.34 right now. I voted today. I got my little sticker. I feel so official. And I spent some time after I got back just like prepping some stuff for fellows. And then I wrote a little bit. I wrote 242 words. When I initially came back, I took a nap because I woke up pretty early this morning. Well, earlyish for me. So we might had to like deal with like huge lines of people coming. So that happened. Bonded with somebody over my shirt today. And Satan said, put the alpha bit in math. A lot of people like this shirt. Thank you for everybody who liked the shirt because I love it too. But now I'm going to try and maybe do a word crawl or something just so I can like bust out at least get to a thousand words or so before I get down and eat some food. Because right now I am at 761 words. So I can easily get to a thousand in a good like few minutes. So we're going to maybe go for a thousand and fifty. Maybe go for a thousand and five hundred. We'll see. Check it in a bit. Okay, so I've officially hit 1,858 words. Off to a good start so far, but I will be writing more today just so I can get a little bit more ahead because I do know that I have some very busy days coming up in November. So I'm going to go get some food and that I shall continue writing. Okay, so I've changed locations to the place where I film. So I moved the corkboard that I used to film on and now I have my laptop, my cranberry juice, my planning book, and a scratch pad so I can like write numbers for work calls and stuff like that and I'm going to get back to work we are on the track to 3319 words I think so there's about almost five hours left in the day I think we can do it before then let go That's the wrong number. That's the wrong number. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. You see, it was easy to confuse, but I had met my word quota for the day. I feel accomplished. And now I can check that off in my planner. Woo! So I think that's going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this NaNoWriMo vlog, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and tell me what your word count goals are for this month and what you're writing for this NaNoWriMo. I think it'll be really exciting to see what everybody's up to this month. And if you want to buddy me up on NaNoWriMo, I will have the link to my profile down below so we can buddy up and encourage each other to finish through this month. So yeah, that's going to be it for this vlog. And I will hopefully have this edited and up by tomorrow. And then I will see you guys next week for another vlog. Hopefully. Please, Ivy, edit this vlog vlog because i really want to show you guys my progress and i want to document it for myself as well so like i said that's it for this video and i just want to say thank you to jan greens for commenting in my last writer video it means so much to me that you commented in my last video and also that you're also a writer and another planner love finding people with the same combo as me because it's very rare that you see like planners and writers in like the same category so thank you for commenting that that made my day and that's all i have for this video so until next time this has been ivy thank you for watching and hopefully i see you in the next video. Bye! I'm okay.